The Olympic hopefuls in bobsleigh, luge and skeleton will be chasing their dream here at the Sunky Sliding Center. Cool runnings say loose retelling of the true story of Jamaica's bobsled team could perhaps resonate here in sunny Sochi. But I've always wondered how do they get the shape of the track to be the way it is and also how do they get it so smooth? Well, I found the answer today and it takes manpower to actually carve out the shape of the track and once that's done, this big baby here comes into action. What it does is it works sort of like a vacuum machine. So it sucks up all the excess ice off of the track and then smooths it over. The course is the first in Russia to have three upward slopes, which help to slow speed and keep athletes safe. But competitors can still clock up to 135 kilometers an hour here. And getting the track leveled takes a few carving tools and dedicated carvers. I wasn't making my way all the way to an Olympic track without testing my carving skills. So, I digged in. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> and this is how we get uh -huh. uh, what, uh, the track smooth. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> it really isn't as easy as it looks. So you really need men like uh, Zenia here who know what they're doing, who've been trained to do what they're doing right now to actually cover out the ice. Now, 27 of them, including Zenia here, will be at during the olympics basically taking care of this entire track making sure that the bobsleigh and the sledging competitions go exactly the way it is because the truck is too big to get through the narrow lanes it's done the old-fashioned way with a snow shovel and a broom for russians speeding down snowy hills is a fun part of growing up and that's why this venue has been called sanki the russian word for sledge Tabam Mutze at the Sankey Sliding Center for RT.